before you click off this video, hear me out. Humor me. Okay. Hi guys. As you have read in the title, I have some good news for you. It just rained. That's not the main good news, but that's good news. So, Neon Jellyfish has, in the past couple weeks, gained like 400 followers, which is amazing. You guys are awesome. Now I have 612 subscribers. So it feels weird because I know I'm talking to a lot more people right now. So I feel like there's something that should grab your attention. Oh no. Well, I had a grasshopper friend and then I realized he was dying and then I stomped on him and then he was struggling and then I had to stomp on him again to kill him. Thinking juice. Anyways, I feel like there's something that I should grab your attention now that there's a lot more people watching. I feel like God is using me and my sister in this way to get people's attention and influence to you because especially the kids of Mesquite, there's not a whole lot of like, no offense, but like actual how do I say this? There's not a lot of churches where you come because you want to come. This is one of them. <sighs> I want to tell you that First Baptist Church is always welcome to visitors, but that's not what this video is for. It's not like advertising the church. It's advertising Jesus. Have you ever had that feeling of like, oh my gosh, you know what? Life is going great. Like. I'm popular, I look good, I'm having fun, I'm like working hard at school, I'm getting good grades and I'm going to parties and stuff and you're like this is everything life's made out to be but then you get that feeling deep down that's like no it's not, it's like isn't there anything more, like isn't there something like that's gonna fill my heart all the way. Some days you get that feeling like deep down that's like what's even my purpose, I mean I'm having a good life but like what am I here for. I have the answer for you. Before you click off this video, hear me out. Humor me. So as a lot of the kids at my school know, I am a Christian, but I wasn't like born into it, if that makes sense. Like, well, I was born into it, but I chose to be a Christian because I have a relationship with God and like I chose to do that as opposed to like being born into church and only going because like it's Sunday, you go to church on Sunday. I want to be there, you know? Um, anyways, about your heart, do you ever have those days where you're just like so dreadful? Where you're like, oh, like this is it. Like this is all that life is. It's just like having fun with my friends and like eventually I'm gonna get up and go to college one day and then I'm gonna have a career and then I'm ha gonna have kids and then I'm just gonna get old and be a grandma and, or a grandpa and then I'm just gonna die. And then you're kind of like, oh. There's more to life than just being here. You were put on this earth for a purpose and hopefully this video can help you find what God has given your purpose. When you're looking for your true purpose and your true meaning in life, God is that purpose. Whether you figure that out before you die or not. You may not know it yet, but, but God knows your name and he and he made you and he wanted you to be here and I mean even though you might not know it I know it because like I have proof that God is in my life for instance last summer my dad could have died in a car wreck he got rear-ended by a semi truck but there was no one in front of him when there were tons of cars way ahead of him if there were any cars in front of him he would have got smashed so what is that that's God God moved my family, not only on a map of the United States from Missouri to Nevada, but he moved us inside. He, he changed us and he gave us like a youth group, an awesome church and like somewhere to do something for him. 
just that and also little things every single day i know that god is real and i know that he has a message for every single one of you so hopefully i can convey that today so to sum it up a long time ago god made everything and a lot of things happened and then he he had a son that would save the whole world because the world needs saving so that son his name was jesus he died for everyone so that we have a chance to go to heaven with god it's like a crap ton of stuff right now i'm sure like some of you guys have kind of heard this you know but you didn't really well you didn't really you didn't really care jesus died and took all of the sins that we committed and ever will commit and he took them all on him and took the blame for all of them even though he was perfect and then he died on the cross as a sacrifice so that we could go to heaven with god like that's a big deal <laughs> so if you want a religion and you want a church and a belief that you actually do believe and that you're not like forced to believe then you might as well know the truth and that is that the only true word is the holy bible and that's like what i believe because i chose to believe it and i want to give it to you guys so when i show you videos of our youth group stuff like the walk-in going to youth group going to church i want to make a vlog going to church um yeah we do have fun we have a lot of fun and it's because we're free because god has told us no matter what he loves us and he has a plan so we don't have to worry this is probably really confusing but I just want to tell you that there is a real God and he is actually real. And there is a real book called the Holy Bible that is completely true. And you can choose to follow it and then it will be real. I mean, it's already real, but like, if you don't know where to start, go find a Holy Bible. You know, start at the very beginning. Just read, if you need to read a verse every night, that's like one sentence, so be it. If you need to ease into it, you know, start going to a Christian church somewhere, you know, start watching services online. You know, if you're in Mesquite, you can come to First Baptist Church, or I know there's Community Christian, I think. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I just moved here, guys. But I personally found true meaning and purpose to my life in God like that fulfillment in my heart that I wouldn't get anywhere else not from my phone not from watching YouTube videos not from anyone else on this planet not from getting good grades in school not from being perfect and pretty and looking good all the time and being totally skinny not from who my friends are not from anything this world can give from what God can give that's what filled my heart up and showed me what my true purpose and meaning in life is and I think that is to work for God. I don't know exactly what that looks like yet, but he has told me that's okay. So I'm hoping you'll come on the adventure with me, with us. I wish Phoebe were here right now, but she's still in school. I got out early. I'm making this video on my free time. Come on this journey with me and my sister and my mom and my dad, especially me and Phoebe, because this is our channel. Um, and we're gonna have a fun time. And maybe we can influence to you how great God is. And one day you will be able to find your true meaning and purpose that fills your heart up all the way perfectly. And being a Christian doesn't mean everything solves itself because it definitely does not. Uh, but things are a lot easier. Like, how do I say this? God is not always going to calm the storm and the waves. But he will be your floating device. The basic point is, now that I've got all of you guys watching, Jesus really loves you and there actually is a real God and he actually really wants you to meet him and he actually really, really wants to have a relationship with you, whether, I'm, it's not going to be perfect, but he just wants, I mean, he knows your name, he just wants you to know his, you know? So I want me and my sister to use this channel to witness to you guys how great God is and maybe you can keep watching the fun videos and say huh Christians actually do have fun heck yeah we do we know how to throw a party obviously if you saw the video before this 
Anyways, I'm getting off track. God loves you. He can fill the void in your heart. And have a great day. <laughs>